Hey everyone, welcome back to the procession to Calvary. Now we have some tasks for the woman on donkey. We need to find a missing wheel for the cart and something to please the donkey. Let's look at the big hole. Someone has dug a big hole in the muck. Hello? Anyone down there? I guess not. And let's look at the statue also. A huge gaudy golden statue of Heavenly Peter. I guess I'm in the right place. And let's go up the hill. Remember your recently crucified relatives the way God intended with commemorative t-shirts so there are a couple of guys here let's look at them this guy is having a bad day and let's look at the heads a collection of severed heads some a lot fresher than others let's pick one up can I borrow one of your heads? sure you never know when you're going to need a maggot ridden corpse bone summer, right? And we have a fresh human head. I was being facetious, you twit. Oh, too late. No backsies. Let's talk. Hello. Hello. What's going on here then? I'm selling crucifixion merchandise so the loved ones of the recently crucified can go home with something to remember them by. It's a pretty lucrative gig. What's with the severed heads? I can't fit a whole person on a t-shirt, but I find it hard to draw the heads without drawing the shoulders, so I use these severed heads for reference. I'd like to buy some of your lovely crucifixion memorabilia, please. You've got coins? Nope. Sorry, no coins, no merch. I bid thee farewell. Oh, dost thou bid me fare thee well? Huzzah! I am honored to have been granted the chance to share discourse with such a lady. A queen, no doubt, from the propriety of her speech. Peace off. So let's look at some of those chaps. He looks like a nervous Eastern European high diver. The rest of them went loincloth, no shirt. This guy went shirt, no loincloth. <laughs> That's a bold fashion choice and I love it. Man on the wheel. A crippled dying man strapped to a perfectly functional wheel. Is he ever going to stop to inhale? <laughs> this one's pretty handsome. So if we touch the skunk he farts I don't know what it does at that moment and if we look at the suspiciously hotspot Y post hmm why am I even examining this post if we try to take it I don't think I'm strong enough to pull it down with my bare hands but the sword man on the wheel I'll just pop that in my pocket and we've got ourselves a functioning wheel so let's go left continue down the path yikes let's talk to the nude bowman hello can I help you? what are you doing up there? I'm playing shoot the apple of the silly man's head where are all your clothes? I don't have any. I'm nude. What do you do in the winter? I stay active. Are you going to shoot the dang apple of that chump's head or not? Don't rush me. Okay, now I'm ready. Oops. Okay, he didn't miss. Nice shot. Firing a bow is easy when your butt is exposed to the elements. 
let's pick up the apple then. Can I have my arrow back please? Sure. I'm strictly infantry trained. I wouldn't know what to do with this thing anyway. Thanks. And let's look at the torture. That guy's having a rough day. A couple of spit boys roasting a near do well. I'm not sure spit roasting is the best form of punishment, but if you are going to cook a man, this is definitely the best way to do it. Let's talk to them. Hello. What do you want then? Whatcha doing? We're torturing a thief, ain't we? Cooking up his guts and the like. Ouch. Ouch ain't wrong. What has this chap done to deserve such a fate? He only stole the goddamn cobbler's bloody pliers, didn't he? And when we caught the, pl the plum red-handed, he swallowed the flipping evidence. He swallowed the pliers? That sounds like a level of commitment to freedom that should be rewarded. Or a level of stupidity that should be giggled at. <laughs> Do you really think physical torture is an effective form of punishment? Don't you think a system of rehabilitation and reintegration would be more humane? Are you questioning the methods of Yon Heavenly Peter then? Because that would be heresy and I don't mind telling you it could buy you a few days on the rack. Oh no, I was only kidding. I love torture. Carry on. I'll leave you to it. I should hope you will. So we have everything we need. Give them back to the lady. I found a will for you. Excellent. Pop it on the cart and we'll be on our way. Let's use it on the broken down shell cart. Hello? What the heck is happening? Quite hidden. That should do the job for now. Thanks. And let's give her the apple also. That should perk him up a bit. Thanks. Will you help me get into town now? Nah, I'm not going to do to that town. I was telling you a fib to manipulate you into helping me. I'm not a trader at all. I just flipping love shells. So long, sucker. Ha ha ha, that was savage. You didn't tell us you were a gullible rube. The one thing we love more than high priority skilled laborers is gullible rubes. Our whole economy is based on or the exploitability of gullible rubes. I hereby grant you free access to our town on an indefinite gullible rubes visa. Look at my massive key. Look at his massive key. You guys are the worst. I can see the basilica on the other side of the canal. Emily Peters Basilica. So there he is. Well, that was weird. I guess I know where to find Heavenly Peter now. Let's talk to the Mary townspeople. Was this your card? Incredible! How did he do it? Hello, Mary townspeople. Hello, strange lady. Are you some sort of magician? I am the best sort of magician. A surly, self-important street magician. What kind of tricks do you do? All the classics. Some sleight of hand work, rabbit out of a hat, walking on water, 
the one where it looks like I'm levitating, but actually I'm just standing on my tiptoes in front of some gullible pre-hyped rubes to get a reaction shot. Then I sub in a shot where I'm getting winched up by Crane for the TV the edit. Like I said, all the classics. Will you show me a trick? Sorry, you just missed one. Come back in a few hours. I'm working on something intoxicating. Why do you have a small child tied to a leash? I don't see how that's any of your business. Okay. Sorry, I cannot get past this young boy with a rope around his neck issue. Don't worry about him, he's just fine. Okay. Seriously, what's with the kid? You're not going to get any further details on that, I'm afraid. I'm going to walk away from you now. Okay. So let's go to the right, to the left, and talk to the ferryman. Excuse me, how may I help you? Will you take me to the church, please? Do you have a boat pass? Nope. Then I cannot take you anywhere, I'm afraid. Where can I get a boat pass? I have absolutely no idea. Shouldn't you know that kind of thing? Yes, I think it's fair to say I should. People must ask you all the time. They do. But you never thought to find out the answer? Never crossed my mind. Is there another way across the canal? Nope. Not unless you know how to walk on water. Okay, no further questions. So, but the magician over there said he had a trick. Hello, Mary Towns people. Can you teach me to walk on water? Sure, if you do something for me first. Okay, what do you need me to do? I need some purple berries for the new trick I'm working on. I could go and collect them myself, but I'm busy bathing in the adoration of my psycho fanatic followers at the moment. If you find me some purple berries, I will happily teach you to walk on water. Okay, I can do that. So let's exit and follow the road on the right across a bridge. Come on now, Steve. Let's get you home to your wife. I don't want to go back. Just give me a few more hours. You are squandering your prime playing dead in an empty grave. Think of all the thrills you could be seeking if you were standing aloft. All the pranks you could be pulling with your pants on. But it's so peaceful in there. Let's pick the big old berries. And let's look, if we look at the grave. There's a dead guy over here, looks like a dead guy, and there's a book which we cannot take. He's clinging to it extremely tightly, and if we poke him... I'm trying to sleep here, pal. If we poke him again, he says the same thing. Now if we try to take the book... Please refrain from attempting to steal my book. I can't sleep unless I have, I have something to hug. So unless you have something more cuddly than this book for me, not very flipping likely, I love this book. Piss off. So we don't have anything at the moment. Let's enter the town again. I talk to the Mary townspeople. Here's your dank berries. Thanks. Can you teach me to walk on water now? Sure, let me ask you one question first. Shoot. Is this your card? Incredible. 
What the heck is that? It's a boat, boat pass, dummy. Oh. Thanks. And that's how you learn how to walk on water. You get a boat pass. And we give it to the ferryman. I found the boat pass. So you did. Will you take me to the church now, please? Sure, hope in. And so we're just outside the church. So I will end the episode here, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. I hope you are doing well. I'll see you very soon.